Today is 1st January 2019. This is the 7 years old female spirit domestic short hair cat. 6 day of hospitalization. Okay, this is day 6. Welcome. So now we will show that the cat has joined this. We will show the areas where the cat has joined this. Okay, we start with the eye bit first. The eye. With the eye. Mm. So press down. Mm. Yeah, it's yellow. Can you see the, the eyelid yellow? Yeah. Mm. Wait, wait first. Okay, I will do it because it's quite nervous now. So you just press down and you see. Definitely the third eyelid is very yellow, huh? both sides. On this side also. Then the yellowish. Huh? Okay, so there's, there is a sign of jaundice now. The first one is the mucous membrane. You can see it's a bit yellowish and the cat doesn't like it. So I wouldn't force it, but you can see from the ears, definitely it's yellow discoloration. Both ears, huh? so it, you show both ears. Then this cat has jaundice. Okay, it came in with a complaint of jaundice. Huh? See the yellow discoloration and the quick one. Turn, hold so tightly. Turn, like just on the mandate. Okay, you can see this is yellowish subcutaneous skin. Huh? And this part of the cat is mimicking herself. Normally there should be hair here. Okay. And uh, from here you can see actually the jaundice. Huh? So okay. Put it back to normal position. You hold. Hold firmly. I will check the heart and lungs. And uh, you need to take over. Take the temperature. We will take the temperature. Okay, come. Check the heart and lungs. Take the temperature. Before the cat goes home, no, the cat is not happy. Okay. Heart is beating fast, but uh, she may be nervous. The lungs. Lungs are okay. Then we have a quick abdominal check. This is part of physical examination. Eh? Now it might be difficult to do it. Okay, I can check whether the liver is enlarged or not. So let go. Let's stand stand normally. Eh? I can feel the liver. Of course, you can do X-ray and ultrasound. So liver is not much enlarged. But there's some gas in the abdomen, some pain also. Yeah, there's some pain, that's why the cat's not happy with it. Let's feel the liver and spleen. It's more in the front part than the kidneys. Huh? Yeah, there's some pain. Huh? Kidney might be enlarged. Okay. Okay, now we take a temperature, see whether there's fever. Today is day six. Day six of hospital, we come home already. Day six of hospitalization. We have an intern here, so I'm just showing the intern that the physical examination. So she learned how to hold the cat. Now, normal temperature is 38 to 39.5. Now, some cats they don't like it. They just hold tightly, firmly, firmly. Mm. Now you see temperature 39.4. No, don't block the breathing. The cat is under antibiotics treatment and drips for the past few days, three days. Uh. Now the cat vomits out the food. So we are giving anti vomiting injection. 39.5 is considered okay. Okay, keep on holding properly. Okay, so now we will go through the blood test. So the blood test, I will just explain the blood test. So on the 17th, on the 17th we did a blood test of this cat. Uh, there was how many days? He came in, what day did he come in? What did the cat come in? The 7th huh? of December. No, early on. First hospitalization is 19. The 17th is the earliest day. Uh, they, 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 before, before he was, she was hospitalized. So on the 17th, you can see the liver and the the ALT and AST. Uh, 
from here we can tell that there's a liver disorder because the enzyme should be less than 67 for the AST and uh, less than 121 for the ALT. Okay, so this shows that the cat has liver, liver disorder. Okay, now the history was he was chained to a dry food on December the 10th, seven days ago from the old food to the another brand Purina now. Sometimes you change the diet, the the cat may be affected, the liver. The kidney was okay. Now we did a kidney test. And the kidney, the creatinine level is okay. Then you see creatinine is so the kidney. 136. Now you just hold down. Okay. Okay, so this kid the kidney. Now we're talking about whether the cat has blood bond infection or not. No, there wasn't any because the total white cell count is 6.6 .6 within the normal range. Introfuse 70 percent is normal range 60 to 70 percent absolute number is 3 to 11 is 4.6 the lymphocytes also normal no, it's less than 20 percent okay and 0 0.69 then uh, the red blood cells are okay 9.4 red cell count normal range within the normal range hemoglobin 8 to 15 is normal range platelets 373 is within the normal range so actually the diagnosis was uh, most likely the change of diet, but we do a test for the viruses FIV, FELD yeah, on the 20th, and it was negative. Okay, negative. So we give the drip, and, and, and the cat was sent home, but the owner couldn't feed the cat properly. Now, if we show the feeding, you hold it, hold it. Then. Show the feeding, the AD. Now, because the owner couldn't feed the cat normally, we give hydration and uh, AD. Normally, I told the owner to feed by finger, but they, they may not know how to feed. According to them, the cat vomits out of food, mm. out of feeding. So she brought it here. Now, he has been here for, I think, three days. How many days was he here? For these this three days? Five. Five days. And we give anti vomiting injection. Only pure for the liver, and the cat was uh, much better. Actually, you can see. And uh, do the going to take the AD up? I don't know. It takes so long. The AD already was on the bowl already. Don't take so long. No, not this way. You, you, you okay? You fit there. Eh? You fit this way. This way is where the cat vomit. Just take the finger and put it in. Okay, now. That, that, just, just feed it, just feed since you're already here. Now, there are two ways of feeding. One is, of course, a syringe. To the side. Actually, this, this is more difficult. This, this method is more difficult for cats. And uh, So just feed a bit at a time. Not, not see a lot. Nah. Okay, but okay, enough for it. That's all. We feed. Then use the finger, the finger method, also the same, where the food is more solid. Of course, in that method, that method, take, sit down on a chair, sit on a chair and do a good job, yeah. Now we have given the drip, so we are now going to give water. The assistant hold the cat, yeah. No, the assistant. Okay, you can see how she give. Uh, that, that, should, that should be the better way. Open the mouth, grip the mouth open. Yeah, th this way is better because this way you don't have this water. No. So, of course, maybe just fit two times only, probably you can't fit more than that. Uh, one more time, so your turn. Grip, grip, uh, grip the side. Uh, grip, you see how you grip, okay? Grip the side. Grip this side, uh, and the mouth open up. Far back, probably, uh, not far enough. Okay, but anyway, it went in. Wait your turn. So that, that's all. Don't don't fit more than that. Okay. Uh, let 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 do. Wait, you sit down first. Uh, uh, try open. Uh, just put some in your hand. More than that, uh, not so little. Okay. Grip the mouth. Grip like that. Grip. 
do I open the bottle? You just grip like that. Grip hard. Open the deck up. In the middle, go in. Further back, better. Further back. Okay, successful. Oh, shucks. Quite. Huh? Okay, I need to One more time. Like this. Oh, back you are. No. No, more than that, more than that. Uh, Sue, you grip for her. But you just grip very hard. Yeah. Just push it in fast. Okay, not, not bad, not bad. Okay, that's all. Sometimes you cannot give too much. The cat wouldn't be too happy and then vomit up. So you go home for today. Okay.